A seven-page report which saved millions of lives, the Oslo Report. Hans Ferdinand Meyer's leak of German weapons systems to Britain helped to counteract German weapons. The tactical advantage helped Britain win the war and save millions of lives. A young British scientist went through a seven-page classified document on a possible German weapon system, which was rejected by his seniors as fake. The young scientist was a man who believed only in facts, so he went on to verify the scientific information provided in the document. Due to the curiosity of this young scientist, Britain was able to extract data from Germany's greatest leak of military secrets. The young scientist went on to make countermeasures for German weapons, which helped Britain win World War II. The young scientist was R. V. Jones, and the document was the famous Oslo Report. Initial Contact On 4 November 1939, Captain Hector Boys, a British military attaché to Norway, got a letter in his post box. The letter stated that if the BBC German program started with the introduction as Hello, here is London. Then he can receive German military secrets. The BBC initially hesitated but succumbed to the British government's pressure to do the modification in the broadcast. After the broadcast, a letter came to the captain and had a detailed description of how a German proximity fuse worked. Proximity fuse can detonate a bomb when it is near a target. After a week, another letter came. It was seven pages with a detailed description of the German military plan for weapons in the future. The letters described the German weapons advancements in German. Contents of the report Junkers Ju-88 program The report stated that the Junkers Ju-88 twin-engine dive bomber's production had risen. Per month production is around 5,000. Franken Germany's first aircraft carrier is under construction in Kiel and will see action in April 1940. Remote-controlled gliders The German Navy is in the process to manufacture gliders that can drop explosives in both land and sea. The project title is FZ-21, Ferngestured Zilflugzeug Autopilot The report stated the existence of an aircraft controlled via a remote from another plane. FZ-10 is the name of the project. Remote controlled projectile This part of the report was the description of the A-8 rockets, which used liquid fuel and under construction. Reichlin Reichlin was a small town near Berlin and had a Luftwaffe military airfield. The report mentioned it is an excellent place to bomb. How to attack bunkers The report derived experience from the German offensive in Poland, and stated how to use smokescreen and flamethrowers to capture bunkers. Radar The most crucial component of the report was its description of the German radar system. The report described how Germany was able to track British fighters 120 kilometers from the German coast. It also described German radar frequencies, names, and how to counteract it. Aircraft range finder The report explained the why Goretta of how the Luftwaffe guided its aircraft to the target using two beams. Torpedoes The report mentioned how acoustic torpedoes and magnetic torpedoes of the German Navy function. Electric fuse The report emphasized that mechanical fuses are not used anymore in the German army but replaced by electric fuses. The Oslo Report The document reached MI6 from Norway via the British Embassy in Oslo. Hence the report got the name Oslo Report. MI6 translated it and passed it to the Signals Intelligence team. MI6 gave a caution to the report. The doubt on the report was due to the vast knowledge of data in various fields. MI6 even doubted that German intelligence had tailored the report to confuse British intelligence. The report contained information from the Navy, Army, and Air Force, which is impossible for one person to acquire. R. V. Jones was curious on the radar part of the report and set on a mission to detect short frequency waves. The Royal Air Force faced huge losses as their aircraft was detected even before they crossed the English Channel. Jones set up a receiver in an airplane, strolled the English Channel, and found that the Germans used low-frequency radar. 
He also confirmed the existence of Weigeret. Due to the report, Jones and his team were able to counteract the German radar system and neutralize it. The report also helped to pinpoint Peenemünde as the location for German rocket production, which helped in bombing raids. The author of the report was shrouded in mystery until 1989. The author of the Oslo report was a German scientist Hans Ferdinand Meyer. Hans Ferdinand Meyer Hans Ferdinand Meyer was born in Pforzheim, Germany, in 1895. He went on to become a mathematician with a PhD in physics. He contributed actively to the German scientific community until the German invasion of Poland. Meyer didn't support German aggression towards its neighbors. Meyer took a trip to Oslo and stated business as the purpose of his travel. In Oslo, Meyer typed the Oslo report while he was in his hotel and posted it to Captain Hector Boys. Meyer then continued his work in Germany. He was arrested for his criticism against the Nazi government and ended up in a concentration camp. Nazi Germany never knew the existence of the Oslo report, which saved Meyer. After the war, Meyer went to the USA under Operation Paperclip, but later moved back to Germany. Jones, who was curious to know the author of the Oslo report, tracked down Meyer. Meyer requested Jones not to reveal his name as the author of the report until his death. Meyer's name came out in 1989, nine years after he died. Aftermath The Oslo report, though was a mere seven pages, saved millions of lives throughout World War II. It made Britain counteract the German weapons system, thereby turned the tide of the war. No other piece of intelligence was so important as the Oslo report in World War II. The courage of Meyer who fought against Nazi ideology and bravely compiled the Oslo report must be appreciated.